Are you the type of person who believes that every relationship is supposed to yield the same kind of results? Maybe you believe that the same effort that you put into a relationship is supposed to be reciprocated back to you. Now, it doesn't always work that way because you always get frustrated because of your expectations. Let me share with you a framework that I've used that has helped me get more of what I want out of relationships and less of what I don't want. I call it the destiny space model. This destiny space model I've been using for years and it's helped me to manage my expectations in my relationships and helped me grow some relationships as well. But before we get into that, let me read you a scripture that kind of ground set, level sets this whole thing. Proverbs 17, 17 says, a friend loves at all times and a brother is born for adversity. A friend loves at all times and a brother is born for adversity. So when we look at this destiny space model, you're gonna see that there are three different spheres that um, are included here. You have your public space, your private space, and your destiny space. Your public space is where most of your uh, unfamiliar and casual relationships lie. Maybe it's somebody that you know that works at your favorite coffee shop or works at the store that you like to go to. You know them because you met them there, but there is no real intimate relationship. You only see them when you go to certain places. It's unfamiliar and it's casual. Or maybe it's transactional in nature. Maybe this person has something that you want, you have something that they want, you guys make the exchange, and that is where the relationship ends. Every time you connect, it's always transactional. If that's what you want, then that's what it's gonna be. Or maybe it's absent of intimate connection. Public space relationships are absent of intimate connection, meaning that it's possible to add value at this level, but there's no real um, foundational connection there. It's absent of intimate connection. These are your public space relationships. Then we have our private space relationships. Our private space relationships are our close friends and family. These are the people that have foundational history with us. They have shared experiences with us. Maybe there's it's your, it's your mother or your father, your cousin, your aunt or your uncle, maybe a close friend, people that know you know you. They've had, they've lived life with you and they have some kind of insight into who you are. These are your private relationships, right? And then you have your, what I call your destiny space relationships. And these are open accountability relationships, meaning that these people have earned the right to hold you accountable and you have earned the right to hold them accountable. They know your heart, they know your vision, they understand who you are. You can vent to these people and you never lose value in their eyes because they're gonna always see you as value and important. They're with you versus for you. Now there's a big difference between the two. Somebody that is for you, they want you to win. They're not hating on you, they want you to win. However, they want you to win from a distance. They haven't intentionally integrated themselves into your life. They haven't intentionally integrated themselves into your mission or your vision. Again, they want you to win, but they don't have the capacity to be up close and hold your arms up when it counts. A person that is with you though, they have intentionally integrated themselves into your life. You don't have to call them five or six times before they call you back. Oftentimes they're standing right beside you holding your arms up. Again, you can vent to them and you never lose value in their eyes because they always see you as valuable. It's a value-based reciprocal relationship, meaning it's not just about what they can do for you, but you show up for them in the same way. Oftentimes, people in this space, it's not a lot of people in this space, maybe two or three people in your destiny space. Here's where most people get it wrong though. They try to bring people from their private space into their public space or into their destiny space. Unknowingly, knowing that, and they don't know that, people in their private space and public space, they may not have what it takes to live in your destiny space. Your destiny space is where Jesus talks about Peter, James, and John. These are the only three he always took them, he always took them away when he needed to do something important. When he needed to pray, when he needed to hear from his father, he always took those three because those three understood what it felt like and what it looked like to be in his destiny space. Trying to bring somebody who doesn't belong in your destiny space into your destiny space or having an unfair expectation or unrealistic expectation on their relationship will always cause you to have 
frustration. Bob Marley said it this way. The truth is that everybody's going to hurt you. You just have to find out the ones worth suffering for. I love that. Henry Nguyen said this. The friend who can be silent with us in a moment of despair or confusion, who can stay with us in an hour of grief and bereavement, who can tolerate not knowing, not curing, not healing, and face with us the reality of powerlessness, this is a friend who cares. These are the kind of people, the people who are worth suffering for, the people who don't need to know all the answers because they know your heart. These are the folks that need to be in your destiny space, these are the individuals that you need standing right beside you as you walk in your purpose. So if you desire to have substantial relationships, knowing how to manage these relationships, knowing how to manage your expectations will significantly diminish your frustration. And in turn, it will help you get with more of what you do want and less of what you don't want in your relationships. Remember that what you want to become depends on your willingness to become it. Have a great day.